You might think that it can't get any crazier for American government than having elected officials who believe in support and have talked about at length on video about the whole QAnon thing. That we have elected officials like Marjorie Green, Lauren Boebert that are pro Q and others that dabble in it occasionally. But it can get crazier. What if Q himself were in elected office? We apparently might be moving towards that actually. So in a video posted on his Telegram channel, a man named Ron Watkins said that he was inspired to run for office after recently hearing a sermon from Pastor Jeff Durbin at a church in Mesa, Arizona. Durbin is a right wing minister who has said he wants to execute women who have abortions. So, you know, he's great. Anyway, an email. Uh, address associated with Ron Watkins has filed a statement of intent with the office of the Arizona Secretary of State to run for a congressional seat. The filing is an essential step in running for public office and comes ahead of the candidates seeking to secure the required number of signatures to make it onto the ballot. There's a bit of an issue with it in that you have to actually live there to run there. And apparently it was reported earlier this year that he lives in Japan. But he at least wants you to think that he's running. So what's this about Q? Well, he worked for years as the administrator of a website called 8kun, previously known as 8chan, where the anonymous leaders of the QAnon movement, known as Q, exclusively posted updates since early 2018. So he has repeatedly denied personally being involved in it, but he was on a documentary on HBO about the origins of QAnon and seems to have on tape outed himself as actually being Q. At the end of the day, I have no idea if he actually is, but he has been involved with it from the very beginning. There is reason to believe that he might have been the person who has inflicted this whole movement on us. And now he himself appears to be running for office. So I interviewed the director of that documentary, you can check it out on the conversation. And so when I started watching the documentary, even before it got to the reveal where he basically says it on camera, well, you know, it was a very thin veneer of deniability. Um, you realize, oh, he has access to what 8chan posts, Q posts on 8chan. At a minimum, he would know who Q is. He'd be the one person who definitely knows who Q is because he's the one that receives it. Then you realize there ain't no Q. <laughs> well, first of all, of course, I knew that all along. But when you realize the mechanics of it, He's the one that controlled 8chan at the time. So, oh, I have a, a deep state official who is writing into 8chan uh, using encrypted technology where I pass myself a note, okay? And so, like, a, like now billionaires are running for office, mm-hmm. right? Cutting out, like Bloomberg's a good example. It's cut out the middleman. He's been funding politicians. But Trump's a good example. He said it in the debates. Yeah. He said, I paid off all these guys when I was a businessman. So I know how corrupt they are, right? And so he's like, ah, you know what? I'm tired of paying them off. I'm just going to run myself. So this is like, hey, I got Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and I got most of the Republican Party that really do my talking points while leaving out the satanic cult child eating thing, right? And I helped to do a mini revolution in America. Why don't I just cut out the middleman and I'll run? Yeah. So he can deny it all he wants, but you can watch the documentary and see for yourself. And so is it, he hasn't won yet. So in the old days, you would have said this and it's a curiosity. Oh, A guy who believes in, you know, that there's satanic cults in the Democratic Party and Bill Gates and Fauci are running it and they eat babies. I mean, it happens. There's a country of 330 million people. There's some mentally unbalanced people. No, like 15% of Republicans, I think, believe QAnon is absolutely real. And so there you go, there's your hero. So he might win, he might go to Congress, I don't know. That's the state of the Republican Party. I mean, I think it's a scam to make money. I I don't trust anything this guy says. I completely believe that he's doing this to drum up fundraising opportunities. And uh, yeah, I think it's just that, you know, QAnon is a dangerous death cult. And I think he is just a scammer trying to scam people that he knows are unwell. And as I think as Trump demonstrates, there is a market for that in this country. And I think he knows that and is using it. You know, I, I never thought about it that way, Bridget. And that phrase you just used is, it's kind of a bit devastating. Um, they're literally marketing to the unbalanced. Like they know, as any country has, a certain percentage that have significant mental health issues, right? And they view that as an opportunity. Yep. They're like, oh, we can make money off that. We can get famous off that. We can get power off that. And unfortunately, that 
that percentage is much larger than we would have uh, liked to believe earlier. But they're right there, they're pretty obvious. And so, and a lot of them, it turns out the number is gigantic. And so, they're filling a market need. Yeah. Capitalism, baby. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.